So, let's talk to the trader first and to get that done. What can I to get back to the fire water? What can you offer me? Well, I've got these pots. I've got a few copper pots on offer, 97 of them to be precise. I need them, but this whole thing seems a bit bent to me. You knew that I needed pots, didn't you? It's my job to know everything. All right then, deal. Here's the bottle of fire water, but be careful, it's precious. <laughs> okay. So, let's, uh, you know, go over to our shaman buddy. Here's your fire water. I've got a bottle of fire water. You could have warned me about how precious that stuff is. Precious? It costs just a few copper pieces, and you can get it on any corner here in the Wildlands. But why...? I was just too lazy to get it myself. Plus, I wanted to get rid of you. Give it here. Here are the antlers. Thanks! Antlers. Ah, not so loud. Antlers plus sinew. The antlers and the sinew make my trusty bone bow. Great. Perfect. Yep. Okay. Hey, you, hoodie man. Where's my bow? Here. Uh, thanks. Why do you do that? Take it. Maybe he just wants to keep me busy here a while, so that the Shadow Army has enough time to surround the camp. Am I suspicious or what? <laughs> yeah, you are. Um, okay, so what does that leave us with now then? Do we have to see him do the second thing? Yeah, we do. Okay. The human has won the test of skill. Impossible! Ah! Uh! I have spoken. The human wins the second contest as well. That is not. Ah! Uh! You going to cry, Zazzy? Come to the front gate for the third and final contest. And there have been some people who thought I was embarrassing. But I'd better get going. I need to make sure that Mazaz doesn't finish her run. Yep, and we've already kind of started doing that. We never started the process. I don't think we need anything Hello. from him. What do you want? Can't you? Is that how you should? Customers? All you do is trick me. You've got half my stock and I haven't even had a coin from you. Are you perhaps interested in 97 copper pots? Or is there anything else I can offer you? My valuable shrinking ring? Or my last shirt off my back? The shrinking ring would be good. Yeah. Well? You know what? Here, take the ring. That's the only thing of worth I have left. Then at least I won't be taken for a fool again. That stuff with the pots and the three numbers really hurt your trading reputation, huh? I'm not a merchant anymore. Enough of that honest life. I'm going south. To become a banker. Don't do something you might regret later. A shrinking ring for absolutely nothing. Yeah, that is a bit weird how he just gives it to you. The chieftain thinks I'm one of the Archwitch's spies. I want to keep it that. The covers. Yes. Okay, so actually, let's just, you know, do this the quick way. Throw the shrinking ring down there. Hey, Zloff! Yes, Nate, my friend. I'm going to throw a ring down to you. Don't drop it. All right. Watch out, Blout. Okay. Pull on it. Uh, uh, 
Oh, Jesus! Oh! Grab her, boys! <laughs> <laughs> now someone's got a bit of a sticky problem. <laughs> that was probably the funniest thing I've seen today. Holy shit! <laughs> it's a miniature ogre with a giant club. What the fuck? Okay. All right. Well, does this, does this do? And with that, you and your prize can go wherever you like. You're the winner of the warrior contest. Excellent. Better get out of here before Zazie gets back. Excellent. I'd say I've done an exemplary job. Hmm. I'm first. Wonder how Wilbur's getting on with switching the artifact. Oh, that's what that is. Yeah. <laughs> Who's controlling the rope? The coast is clear. Okay. Um well. Aha. It appears that I'm looking for help to move the chest. This is my chance. Aha. I was cloth. Swap it. There it is. Trapped. Well, go behind it. We all know what happens here. Oh, that's the crash you hear. It's him falling or something. Hello? Anyone there? My nerves must be playing tricks on me. Or oh, there's an invisible intruder. <laughs> That's the box. Let's do it. Cool. Okay. <laughs> that was close. Be that a little more silly. optimistic. What can go wrong now? This. I should have known. That damned metamorphosizing creep. Uh, don't move. I... I'm a mage. I know, I know, little gnome. I wouldn't have thought you capable of that even back there in Seastone. And I would have expected you to have deserted your friends again. At least then I wouldn't have had to listen to all this drivel. <laughs> Let's see if you've got such a snappy turn of phrase when you're standing in front of Mother. No! So nice of you. Chain them up! Hi. Have we been taken prisoner? Yep. Have you swapped over the artifact? Yep. Where's Ivo? I wish. I'm here. And I've organized transport for us too. Dragon? Wow. Dragon. Jump up. I have to send both of you back through time, though. And you have to do something else for me as well. I'm very curious. So Mungus makes a power play, but... Okay, we have to hurry. Nate and Wilbur are captured up there. Okay, so Telerion... So, yeah, Mungus makes a power play, thinking as the artifact... Then Mother destroys him, then the Archmage with a, you know, an army rushes in. Thank goodness there are no guards here. Onwards. It does help that there are no guards. 
we can also go down? Really? We can actually go down. No way, right? The only possibility for success would be to send Nate and Wilbur back through time. And they're both up there. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, why the fuck would it give you the option? It's just been tempting you, hasn't it? It's just always been there, like, hey, you can go down, but you never can. We have to do something, Captain Nate! What? It's too late! Mother! You have long desired the artifact of divine fate, and I have brought it to you. <laughs> nice. What? Later. Hurry, both of you, touch the amulet. See you later. Hey, Piggy Bottom. What the? Let's wait and see. 